Welcome to this week's video on Bad Bass. My name is Kika and I'm your Tuesday and today I will be doing a Halloween tutorial for you. A Tim Burton inspired Victorian vampire. I start off with a clean moisturized face and I already put in my favorite lenses, the Dizio Eyes lenses in Innocent White. I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my lids. Then I go in with my Illamasqua Rich Liquid Foundation in the color white to base out my eyes using a Real Techniques sponge. Then I use a white eyeshadow by Stargazer to set my eyes. Then I take my MAC Lip Liner in the shade Night Moth to draw out a new crease. You can also just use a dark purple eyeliner or dark red eyeliner, but I really like this shade. So I just use this lip liner. I'm going for a very rounded crease above my natural one and I use my finger to blur out the line. I then take a Real Techniques accent brush to put a dark brown eyeshadow by Makeup Forever over the crease. And then I take the Catrice Berry Tail Eyeshadow, which is a matte taupe-ish color, on a base shadow brush by Real Techniques to blend the crease out. Then I take Poison Plum by Sugar Pill to make the colors a bit more intense. And I also use it to go underneath my eye. Then I take Deep Damson by MAC to darken it all up again. For foundation I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the shade MW15. And I mix this with my Illamasqua Rich Liquid Foundation in the color white. And they mix very nicely. For applying my foundation I use a Real Technique sponge. In order to be able to get into the little creases around my nose and around my piercings, I use the Zueva Concealer Buffer Brush. Then I go back in with my Deep Damson and Poison Plum underneath my eyes. I use the leftover product on my brush to go over my eye bags, which really helps sell this dead look. I also start contouring my nose slightly. With some white rich liquid foundation on a gauche concealer brush, I clean up the crease.
And then I go in again with my detail brush and the topish color to soften the crease just a tiny bit. Time to add some sparkles! I use the Kryolan Glamour Sparks in silver all over the white on my lids. Hmm, what would be next? For my eyebrows I'm using a blue eyeliner pencil by Kiko, but you can just skip this step if you have eyebrows of course. I try to get them to look realistic by sketching out individual hairs. To darken them up, I use my Zoeva wing liner brush and a Midnight Blue eyeshadow by Sephora, again drawing individual hairs. Pop some Krylon Glamour Sparks on your brow bone. And then you're ready to move on to mascara. If you want you can also add some false lashes, but I chose not to. I then use Manic Panic's Virgin Pressed White Powder to set my foundation. Let's contour! I use that matte taupe eyeshadow again to carve out my cheekbones and temples. It's okay to exaggerate with this look, just make sure you blend it nicely. For the highlight, I'm using this silver eyeshadow called Over the Moon from the new H&M Cosmetics line. These eyeshadows are absolutely amazing. From the Berry M Natural Glow Palette 2, I take this light grey eyeshadow to contour the rest of my nose. For my lips, I start off by applying MAX Night Moth Lip Liner on the inner parts of my lips. Next, I blend it out with my fingers. And then I add a layer of MAX Cyber Lipstick in the same way. Darken it up with a tiny bit of the Black Cat Liquid Lipstick by Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. And then top it all off with MAX Lip Glass in Dark as Night. I also colored in my waterline with a white eye pencil. To give my costume a nice extra touch, I'm wearing this lacy bat skull necklace by Hysteria Machine. And it's so beautiful. Pop in your fangs, mine are by Dracula House. Now let's get started on the hair. Comb through your hair so there are no knots in there. I'm gonna use this ball of wool to give my hair tons of volume. I also used dry shampoo earlier, which will also give volume and body to the hair. 
Part your hair and start teasing it. You want to make sure you don't tease too much hair at once. I have thin hair so I can take pretty big parts, but if your hair is thicker, you might want to take smaller sections. Tease away from your face. I didn't do the top of my head because that's where the ball of wool is gonna go. Leave out a few strands of hair on the sides of your face and on both sides of your neck. Move your teased hair out of the way to check where you're gonna place the ball of wool. Use bobby pins to secure the ball of wool onto your hair. Then take your hair in the back and fold it forwards over the ball of wool and secure it. And then I fold the front hair portion over towards the back. Then I fold each side over towards the other side and pin them down. Make sure the whole ball of wool is nicely covered by your hair and secure any stray ends with extra bobby pins. It's okay if it's a bit messy, after all, all Tim Burton characters never look perfect. Spray your whole head with hairspray and use your hands to smoothen the hair. I also pulled on my hair a bit in the back to make it a bit more loose. Heat up your curling iron and while you wait for it to heat up, put on your corset and dance around a little. Okay, then take your curling iron and curl the little strands of hair that you left out on the sides of your face and your neck. For my hands, I put a bit of white foundation on there and then I set it with the Manic Panic white powder. Then I took a purple lip stain and put that around my nails, blending it out with my fingers. This works as a nice base for the taupe and greyish eyeshadows that I'm using next. Then I use my Night Moth lip liner to create dark rims around my nails. And that is a complete look. <laughs> 